What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Honey Bee, back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Well, this is going to be a nightly buzz. Um, Welcome to my new subscribers as well as my returning subscribers, my day ones, y'all. I appreciate you all who rock with me. If you just so happen to stumble across this video and you hear or see something that you like, feel free to subscribe to our colony, our channel, you guys. We would love to have you here, cross watchers. You are welcome as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend, of course. Um, I do offer personal readings. My contact information is listed in the description box down below. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the reading, y'all. I already used the sound bowl and cleared the energy. I'm going to go ahead and dive right into the reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for us on this on this evening. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you all had a good day. Male, male energy is here. Mars, a man plays a role. Divine masculine. Oh, so divine masculine is coming out. What's, let's see what's going on with this DM. What's going on, DM? Someone's DM is undergoing a transformation. Butterflies here. Expect to change new beginnings. Personal growth. Um, someone's divine masculine is going through a transformation. You know, and this could be if it's not, you know, you're not dealing with anyone. This could be male or female, y'all. We house both masculine and feminine energy within us. But someone is going through a transformation. Or a male could have played a significant role in your transformation. Or you play a significant role in uh, this, man, this man's, this masculine's transformation or this could be a male that's going to come in and transform the way you see something right i hear gentle like this may this may be someone that you're connecting with that's going to have a gentle kind of love yeah panda panda is under the deck gentle strength personal boundaries nourishment peaceful life this could be a, a masculine that's coming into um bring peace into your environment so if you, you've recently connected with someone this person is coming in already in divine masculine energy like this person is meeting you where you are like this person will understand your need for space they will understand the changes that you go through um this person this is someone that understands that seasons change right i feel like this person um i hear gentle giant that gentle giant energy is is back here this person understands your personal boundaries they want to nourish you this person wants to pour into your cup i heard drink from your fountain <laughs> that's cute okay okay i hear a happy wife happy life peaceful life so this person could be um thinking about this person could see a future with you. Like this person could have envisioned you two getting married. Like if you know you're not that late in the game. Like this person is going to, you know, you may think you and this person just hanging out, just kicking it, you know. Um, but this person is really, they're planning out a future with you, and it's not anything creepy, y'all. This person just sees you as their match. It's almost like you're the, you're the female male version of me, is what I hear. And I see past memories, feeling nostalgic, past people, events, focusing on the future. Yeah, this person, could they focus on the future. When they think of the future, they see you in a picture. This person sees you in a picture. I want you around. This person wants you around. That's a song. Right? Yeah, they see you as a star. This person sees you as a star. Like, this person wants you in their world. And with this camera energy here, past memories, feeling nostalgic, past people or events. Um, I feel like this could be a past life soulmate. This is a calling in your soulmate energy. This is someone that you called in. But this is this for, this is someone from a previous lifetime. This is a past life soulmate. This person could have Scorpio placements. It says hope, healing, it. inspiration dreams fulfilled like this person is like this is your wishes come true like i'm wishing wishing on a star that's this 
lights, camera, action. This person sees you as the star. Um, this person is gonna see you as the apple of their eye, like you're a star in their eyes. Like this person, like you shine, you shine bright to this person. It's like you have a light. This person is drawn to your light. This could be this. You could be rising. Um, you could have an online business, y'all. That's expanding. Like you're expanding your social circle. Your social networks are picking up. Your online activity is gaining traction. If you have a platform of some sort, I don't know. Like this may be like you may go viral for something that you post, or you're just getting more recognition. You're getting traction. Like you're getting noticed. You know, like Wi-Fi, like you could have, you have a data service and of course the service is good. But when you get by Wi-Fi is amplified, like that's what this is. Like this is an energy of you make me better. This person feels like you make, they make, you make them better, but they also are, are coming in to make you better, right? Because this person is coming in to transform the way you see love. This person is going to be magnetized towards you. This is a gentle energy. You have the butterfly um the panda the star that's soft like you, i think feel like you're going to be able to be delicate with this person you're going to be the star you're taking center stage in the spotlight attracting a lot of attention desire to get noticed becoming famous something that you partake in y'all like something i really hope this shit is focusing something that you do like you're gonna you're gonna you're gaining gaining traction for it like it's picking up your online presence and i'm saying, saying online because this wi-fi is here and the store like stores are worldwide right world world wide web you're taking center stage like you like you've reached the stage you've climbed the ladder huh? i don't know if you have a platform a podcast you have a youtube channel um, whatever it is, like if you're an influencer, like headphones is here. People may listen to you on headphones. You may be this, you may do have, it may have something to do with music. Music helps you heal. You may be an artist, like your song could be being played on the radio or you could be streaming more than usual. I hear overnight success, overnight celebrity. Oh, wow. But this is how this, see, this person sees you as well, though. I feel like this is a new energy that's coming in. Like, this person is going to put you on a pedestal. But it's not anything toxic or codependent. Like, this person is just, from the start, this person is going to see your value. They're going to know what you're worth. This is not going to be those situations where they have to lose you before they realize what they had. Like, they're going to know in the beginning. Rose, femininity and beauty, feelings of love, blooming romance, experience expressing affection i can't make this up like you're gonna be able to be your soft and gentle self with this person like i feel like this person is gonna give you flowers like they're gonna make it about you this person is gonna make it about you like but listen don't get the tear because they're gonna be gossip they're gonna be rumors you may some of you may have insincere insincere friends around you there's gonna be some interference watch who you tell your business to watch who you sip tea with because like Hmm. It's gonna be a lot of talk. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of talk. People, some people are gonna have a lot to say, but it don't really matter, y'all. Like, well, I mean, what God has for you is for you. Like, nobody can come in and take that away. They can hate, like, they can show their true colors, but that's what it is that you want them to do, right? Even people that you think are your, you know, are wish you nothing but the best. This could be friends. This could be family. This could be acquaintances, coworkers. You gotta be careful who you vent to because vents go into other rooms, right? Be careful who you talk to. Like, don't talk to, don't talk about your connection with this person with nobody else. Cause people will try to infiltrate that. Like, you know, like don't let the people let them know what it is like this person does for you, what you do together. Like, cause people are hate on it. Like, you know, they could send you negative energy your way, evil eye, evil eye. They could send you the evil eye. Remember, y'all, do y'all return to senders? Sit, take y'all spiritual baths. I hear your return to senders are working. So if you've been doing return to senders, just know. That they have been reaching the ethers. Yeah, look. Anchor, security and safety. Achieving stability. Unwavering dedication. A strong bond and enduring. Stubborn. 
uncompromising stability and durability riches in wealth like this person <laughs> y'all this person is going to this person could have taurus placements doesn't have to this could just be you like this person is not gonna play about you like stubborn like if this is the type of energy this person won't let nobody disrespect you like they're not letting nobody play you this is almost gives me like bodyguard energy like you know like this is a your protector like this this is gonna be your protector this is gonna be your anchor like this person is gonna hold you up this person is gonna hold you up right they ain't gonna never let you sink this person ain't gonna never let you fall like if you if you you're used to people flaking on you wavering on you like this is gonna be un, like your unwavering dedication hasn't gone unnoticed because you gave the ethers unwavering dedication they're giving you unwavering dedication i talk about this all the time y'all whatever y'all put into the universe the universe sends back it's like a boomerang you are durable you stay stable you are unwilling to compromise with the path that you saw for yourself you are unwilling to part with the vision yeah, the pla the path the past may have changed, but you kept you hold held on to your vision. You were stubborn in your pursuits. Even with in riches and wealth. Like it like I said, this in the background, if you have a platform that's about to take off, it's because you put in that work. You held on to your vision. You endured. This connection that's coming in for you is gonna be enduring. Y'all, I like this. This person is going to have a lot of passion for you. Lust and sex. I feel like it's going to be sultry and seductive. Like this person is going to want to take their time with you. I hear not a place. Not a place they won't touch. And right when I say this. Look what's under the deck. Horse. This person could be hung like a fucking horse. Ooh. Sexual energy. Endurance. Determination. Freedom. This person got stamina. Mm. Which is safe to me, spirit. I like this. Hung like a horse. Solid as still. This person is not going to play about you. Down a ride to the very end. This person is determined. Determined to make this work. They want to build foundations with you. This is who you're going to leave legacies with. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles card. The Hierophant, uh, the Bull energy is Taurus energy. Also with Taurus energy is the Hierophant, which is relationship, marriage, tear, heartbreak, denial, emotions, rejection, love, and hate. After you've been rejected so long, chose over, this person is coming. This person, right? You, you, you learn to be okay with people walking away from you. Because you understood, you came to the realization that it doesn't matter if no one ever chooses you as long as you choose yourself. When, once you start to learn to love yourself, you gave the, the universe the opportunity to give you what you give yourself. What you put out into the universe, you show the universe that you love yourself, that you're going to choose yourself above any and everything. They send in that matching energy. Someone that's going to choose you above all else. There's no, There'll be no reason to cry. This person is not coming in to break your heart. This person is coming in to help you mend um, the broken parts of you. The pro broken parts of you that you have about love. Feather is here. Ascension. Presence of an angel. Connected to higher realms. Signs from angels. Present. Presence of an angel. I feel like this person is a literal earth angel. You may be one as well. You may be seeing feathers a lot. Any kind of feathers, y'all. Even if it's like, oh, that look like a feather. Like, whatever you interpret it to be. Yeah. Some of you maybe have been seeing feathers a lot. Some of you could be um, experiencing, like, watery eyes, teary eyes, or, you know, the urge to cry. This is a release, y'all. But I want y'all to know that these are happy tears. These are happy tears. You're ascending. You're ascending past the heartbreak. You're ascending past people denying emotions for you or being rejected. You're you're ascending away from these love and hate situations. This this connection is heaven sent. Hmm. This person feels like you're sent from heaven. You're gonna feel like this person was sent from heaven. This person could have Scorpio placement. Or scorpion be could be significant. They may have a scorpion tattoo. Or you could. Don't have to, y'all. 
Um, look here, line is under the deck, self-control, leadership, personal power, strength, and courage. Like this was you. You had the strength and courage to muster on. Like you tamed the fears, you tamed the insecurities within. This person that's also coming in towards you is going to have a lot of self-control. So I get like this person won't be the cheating type. Like, you know what I'm saying? The leadership. This person is a, I'll show you better than I could tell you. Like this person will be a man or woman of their word. Like this connection with, is it standing the test of time. But individually, you are you are powerful and this person are powerful. So coming together, this will be a, a literal power couple. That's what this is. There's a lot of strength and courage here. There's a lot. There's a determination. You and this person, I feel like you and this person may share the same love language. Like you're on the same wavelength when it comes to your relationships. Like you know exactly how you want that shit to go. And I feel like your person, that person, this person matches that energy. This person don't want anything convenient. They don't want anything that's too easy. They don't want anything that's too easy. Because they know the things that come easy aren't worth having and they won't last. Look, ballerina. And this is how, like, line, it says self-control, leadership, personal power, strength, and courage. And then ballerina, discipline, gracefulness, elegance, strong focus required, practice, and perfection. And this is how this person sees you. You see the line and the ballerina, that's two totally different energies. One is more stern and one is more delicate. Like, this, this person is going to, like, you know... Nobody wants to be hard all the time. This person is going... This is going to be a soft place to land. This person may very well be soft if she's a woman. Like, she may have, you know, a big soft ass or legs. Like, you know, just soft skin. Or if this is a guy, like, you know, like, this may be, like, the panda energy. Like, a big-ass teddy bear. Or, you know, this person could be even be muscular. But when they talk, like, you know, this person could, like, um, R&B music. Which is nothing is wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this could be a, a chiseled man always in the gym. But yet, this person, they soft at heart. This person is going to mat allow you to be your authentic self. Look, finances, making money move, career focus, work life, managing finances is here. So money is looking good with this person. Legacies are going to be built. Also, you have this sun energy. It says happiness, success, clarity, divine masculine. Again, that divine masculine. Someone, this this person, this divine masculine that's coming in, y'all. This is going to be your end all be all. The sun with the lion. Lion is giving me um, Leo vibes. So you could be definitely be dealing with a Leo. Lion is Leo. The sun is Leo energy as well. Your finances are going to be looking great. The sun next to finances, especially with all this energy. Y'all about to be real happy. Y'all about to be real happy. Like, I feel like being with this person is going to be looking into your soul. Like, this is your mirror soul. Like, you see yourself in this person's eyes. Like, you two, a soulmate. <laughs> you and this person share similar traits. Infinity, look, the B is under the deck. Hard working, teamwork, rewards for efforts, focus, and determination. You and this person will both be focused on the connection with one another. You two will both equally, it's, it's equal, like the, the feelings are mutual is what I hear. With this B energy. That's me, y'all, honey B. Hey, me. Oh. This is real good. This is real good. Continue the hard work. I feel like the sun is about to shine on you. Like, you know, you're about to see, you're about to be able to see the rewards for the hard work that you put in. It's about to be illuminated. You're about to see why you've been working so hard. Look, infinity, in, in, eternal, limitless, harmony and balance, kundalini energy, dualism and unity. Yeah. Yin, yin and yang. Empress and emperor vibes, y'all. Fertility, new life emerging, the potential within, changes around the corner. The egg, this is a birth of something new. This tree energy, grounded, legacy, nature, life, and growth. You're going to cultivate a lot of good things with this person. Like you planted the seeds and now the sun is shining. And from this, a tree is going to grow. This is fertile energy. This is empress energy. You are empress. Or emperor. Whatever type of energy you're in, you guys. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. Be careful of leechers, like people wanting to come in. You or this person may have separated from someone recently. And it's because this person was sucking the life out of you or them. 
but like this person is coming back with ill intent this person was is coming back with the intent to have you or this person cut cut someone off like they're gonna they may have someone that's coming back in that wants them to cut the connection off with you or like this person is going to try to interfere in what you two have going on but someone is going to be cutting this out someone has a draining energy someone is emotionally draining either you or this person this is someone from the past take it where it fits this person is an energy vampire they just want to want to suck the life out of you Put yourself where it goes, y'all. If you know this is you not with a past person, you know this is your person that has a, a ex somewhere lurking in, in the background. Y'all know how I go. Like, this person is negative. If this person wants to bring negativity into this person's environment. Like, they living in their shadow side. Um, but this person is going to be is being cut out. Separation, cutting something out, letting go, wanting change. Someone is wanting change from this type of energy. They don't want to, they no longer want to allow people to drain them. I hear drain them of their goodness. So like I said, whether this is you or them, you two are good for each other. Like this is a good person and they recognize you as a good person. Yeah, this person wants to keep them trapped. This energy kept them trapped. They kept them stuck. This person no longer wants to be trapped to this, this energy. This environment that they were in with this person was oppressive. It was unhealthy. Unhealthy inner life. This person, this, this connection was unhealthy. For you or them. They felt trapped. They're desiring freedom. This person just wants to be free. Desiring freedom. Letting go. And I feel like if this is a specific person or anything toxic. Like anything toxic is being cut out. Anything that can interfere in this connection. The, the, the divine is saying, uh-uh. Move. 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 They blocking it. This is beautiful. Cutting cords, cord cutting. Some of you may want to, may look into, have looked into cord cutting rituals or have thought about it. Um, getting some protection work done over this union. Steps, step by step approach, taking action, first steps to success, pursue. This person, that you are this person, are, you are actively, you two are putting in effort to move away from toxic toxicities. I think this is you and them. This is so if this is your soulmate, this is your mirrored soul. This is definitely both of you. You both are cutting out distractions. You're taking the initial steps. You're making the efforts towards your connection with one another. This is actively trying. Oh wow. Moon, intuition, emotions, inner knowledge, divine feminine. And here you are. You had divine masculine and divine feminine comes out. This person is making steps towards you, but you're being guided by your intuition. I feel like you have spiritual gifts. Like you're being guided. You're being definitely being guided. Right? Let me see if we could see what kind of spiritual gifts you have. Inner knowledge, intuition. What is this intuition? Of sacred knowledge inner knowledge does this does my collective have whoever's resonating with this with this message um two sides you have two extreme sides to you but yet with much grace and poise this ability gives you an advantage by keeping them in wonder yeah you're mysterious just like the moonlight you know it's a mystery what lies within the in in the shadows right you're a mystery with the, i hear like what's to come is a mystery it's gonna be good though is this gonna be good, Shaq? Y'all know at the end of Princess and the Frog when they kiss, Tiana and the Prince kiss, and they both turn, they turn into Prince and Princess because he kissed a princess. Once he married her, she became a princess. I feel like you've kissed enough frogs. Like this person is gonna, this is gonna end in union. Um, let me see. Let me see. Do I want to pull anything else? Do I have time to pull anything else? Oh, let me get one of these, y'all. Oh, crap. Last and final message. Give me one more spirit. Oh, I'm probably not going to be able to make it, y'all. Won't be able to make it. It says the mask is here.